Hi, welcome to another episode of the Ambient Mellotron here on the Ambient iPad. Let's make some music. For today's video, I'm going to use two sounds from the Mellotron M400 sound set, Hammond C3 and two brass. The Hammond organ sound is very percussive, so I'm going to play that staccato with a bit of delay to get some interesting sounds. Well, let's see what kind of jam I can come up with. The signal chain is the Mellotron M4000D Mini. Its analog mono output goes into a Focusrite Scarlett 18i8 interface, which communicates back and forth with the iPad Pro through a USB-C hub, which also enables me to power the iPad Pro at the same time. I'm going to try to use 8 Matrix again. Uh, I haven't used it in a while. If you've watched any of my videos, you may have heard the trials and tribulations I've been having with 8 Matrix and external audio. If I'm just using apps on the iPad itself, I don't have any issues with screen recording. Um, when I'm using 8 Matrix with external audio, it's very flaky. Screen recording will turn off, and I have no visual cue within 8 Matrix. That screen recording is ended. I just, when I go look, the icon, screen recording, which is up there now, is no longer present and it's been abandoned. And once screen recording stops, uh, if, it, if you didn't stop it, it, it loses anything you did. So I'm going to try this a couple of times uh, and, and we'll see if 8 Matrix will work for this. So the two sounds we're going to use today, as I mentioned, is a Hammond C3. Let's open up 8 Matrix here. And um, we're going to use a Hammond C3, uh, very percussive sounding organ and I want to use a bit of delay so I want that kind of short percussive sound and and when it comes to sounds on the Mellotron again if you watched any of the videos varying sound quality um, true to the original tapes uh, but the tapes themselves are varying sound qualities and the Hammond is actually one of those that sounds pretty good now, it's just one setting on the Hammond, uh, but each individual key was sampled, so it does sound pretty good. All right, so we'll apply some delay to that uh, to, to give us this kind of percussive sound. Uh, the other sound we're going to use is two brass. So this is a couple of brass instruments together. Once you get past C here, the sound changes a little. One of the more famous applications of this sound was Tangerine Dream, something like this. Ricochet. So those are the two sounds that we're going to use. Uh, let's start uh, building up some effects now. Let me turn off that. So for the first effect, I'd like some modulation. And... Um, I want to use audio damage. I uh, haven't used that in a while. Quattro mod. Use Quattro mod. And um, I have a preset. Yes, there we go. All right. Oh, we need to connect it up here. Whoops. And for the brass. All right. Let's skip a space just in case I want to add another modulation. Um, delay. So I want to use two delays. Let's use... Definitely want to use the K7D, but as a kind of overall delay. I want to use audio damage, their delay. Uh, dub station two, here we go. Let's connect and show, and let's add that in. Again, I have a preset I've done. If it shows up, there it is. Yeah, so this gives me kind of that ping pongy. Actually, we may use that line in the jam. All right, 
real long feedback tail there. Um, I'm not going to use this on the brass, so it doesn't matter. Let's do the K7D now. Um, hopefully the presets I've created will show up. If not, I'll quickly create something from scratch. K7D. Uh, it's not even showing up here. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Where did K7D go? Let's go to all. I had under effects. Ah, oh, there we go. Doesn't show up as an effect, but shows up under all. Uh, connect and show. Let's add that in. Um, I'm fully expecting I'm gonna to have to create something here. Yes, uh, th this application has been really flaky. Although maybe if I go under here, nope, that just saves been really really flaky with um, saving presets I save them and they just don't show up that's okay we'll start with the default sound actually let's turn off dub station it's really short uh, I do want to sync let's sync with eighths okay so whoops 16 D there we go and we definitely want a bit more feedback here. Add in that. That's a little bit, so let me turn off K7D. Add back in. Seems to emphasize the ping ponginess of the delay, but I'm not going to use dub station with the brass, so. That's pretty good. Mono, though. But we'll get a stereo sound with um, reverb. Just going to use black hole for this. Connect and show. Let's just go with black hole itself. Nah, I need more. So we'll just jack up the mix a little, see what that does. Turn off delay. Oh, need to connect it. <laughs> okay, that's nice. A little bigger than normal, but good. Let me add in K7D. Yes, that's good. I think we'll use that line too. Let's hear it on the Hammond. Let's add in dub station. Just for the fun of it, let's add in Spatializer. All right. Connect and show. Um, let me enable that. Let's start with the brass. Whoops. Let's turn off dub station. Uh, let's go into a preset here, maybe surrounded. Just adds a little. It's not adding a lot. Maybe because of the reverbs, but it does just widen, does widen it a little. All right. Um, those are our effects. Let me just go through the sounds one more. This is the bass Hammond sound. Okay, and then the bass sound that we want for brass. Okay, um, let's hope that this has screen recorded and we'll move on to the jam.
Using delay in the Hammond C3 sound, I was able to come up with those percussive rhythmic lines that played off each other. The second delay, the K7D, I mainly use that just to create a bigger soundscape for the brass sounds. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and good luck with your own music.